Well, a big hello to everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Bollywood Buzz. I'm Sumit. And I'm Nikki and we're going to inform you about everything that's happening in Bollywood. So alright people, right now we're going to talk about one of the most talked about guys in Bollywood after Salman Khan of course. <laughs> uh, well, none other than Ranveer Kapoor. We all know about his love story with Katrina Kaif. But rumor has it that he is seeing somebody else as well. That's right, Ranbir Kapoor, who was previously dating Katrina Kev, and they're actually shooting for Jaga Jasu still hey, together. Yeah, one more time. Let's hear that. <laughs> Jaga Jasu. Okay. I'm gonna work on it, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Jaga Jasu. Um, uh, they're shooting for the movie together. Mm -hmm. However, they're still not back together, and rumor has it that he might be seeing someone new, a girl who lives in Delhi. But it's not confirmed. Rumors are still in the air, so let's see what happens. Yeah, and when we find out, well, you're going to be the first person to know about it. For weeks now, we have been updating you on Ranveer Kapoor and Katrina Kev's controversial breakup and how Katrina is trying her ways to patch things up. In fact, proving the same, we have also been getting you awkward pictures of the ex-couple from the sets of Jaga Jasus, which only prove how their reconciliation is far from happening. However, Wait until you check out this latest update. Well, it turns out that Ranbir is actually over his breakup phase and is now getting too close for comfort with his new girl in his life. Yes, our source exclusively spilled the beans saying Ranbir is constantly in touch with a certain Delhi-based girl who for all we know does not belong to the industry. Well, they met through a common friend well, they met through a common set of friends and have been attracted to each other over since. Well, in fact, such is the scenario right now that Ranveer is also assuring that his mystery woman remains a mystery and never falls prey to the paparazzi. Whoa, now that's one surprising new development in Ranveer Kapoor's life. And you know what, Nikki, does that mean Katrina Kaif is available? Well, you never know because she is trying to patch things up with him again and she's doing a movie with Salman Khan, so you never, you never know. know how things might just heat up. For now, we're talking about Ranbir Kapoor and his new love life. What could be a rumor, could be not, we'll find out. Well, the beautiful actress is Shruti Hassan, who is also the daughter of the famous actor Kamal Hassan. Well, you know what? She might just be married. That's right, Shruti Hassan. She was watching Game of Thrones with mm -hmm. one of her very dear friends and she decided to go and post it on social media Instagram where she captioned the picture saying he is her husband. However, in the second picture she mentioned that he is a dear friend but the first picture had a lot of fans questioning if she got secretly married or if she's still single. The thing is like if uh, he's not her husband, why would she even say that in the first place? Well, we need to see what's cooking. South Siren Shruti Hassan is one beauty to look out for. The multilingual actress who has too many talents in her kitty, Shruti is quite the go-to diva. With looks to die for and of course some really good talent with respect to acting, surely the actress is quite in demand. She recently had a Bollywood release as well in John Abraham's Rocky Handsome. Although the movie tanked in the box office with its clash with the most awaited film, Batman vs Superman, well, that hasn't put the sultry diva down, as her social media handles are super active with updates on her recent outings and chilling scenes with her friends. But looks like one such session has put her in a big questionable position. As we all know, HBO's famous fantasy drama Game of Thrones had started airing its sixth season. So just like any other Game of Thrones fans, even Shruti got to social media to share her moments as she watched the show. However, her post led to people wondering about this new development, a major one actually, in her life with respect to her single status. She posted a picture on Instagram with famous screenwriter and lyricist Niranjan Iyengar and captioned it, Game of Thrones lunch with my dearest husband, husband, marriage? Obviously, a lot of eyebrows were raised with fans commenting on her post for answers. She soon put up another picture on Instagram clarifying that she was single and not married. Of course, Nirandan is a very good friend of hers, which fans failed to gather. 
Well, you know what? When we look at Sruti Hassan, well, she reminds me of her beautiful mom, Sarika. Mm. So now let's see, well, if this uh, beauty, this diva is married or still single. Also, this is a reminder that celebrities, no matter what they put, even if it's a joke, people do take it very seriously. Mm -hmm. So even though she was kidding, it raised a lot of questions and it's a controversy. So anything that they post can be taken very, careful, very seriously. Careful what you post. Bad news for all the girls out there who are big fans of Salman Khan. Like me, I'm very devastated by looking at these pictures. <laughs> So Salman Khan might be getting married soon. His family does like his recent girlfriend, uh -huh. Ilya Ventur, and his mom is seen holding her hand as she walks by. Well, sounds great. Uh, well, Salman Khan, he's been single for quite some time now, and it uh, looks like there's a new girl in his life. Uh, I kind of like her name as well. Ilya? How do you pronounce it? Il Ilya Ventur. Ventur. Okay, that's pretty fancy. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see if this relationship is for real and uh, where it goes from here. For long now, there have been speculations around Salman Khan's impending marriage. Although the actor hasn't uh, really confirmed about this same though. But it's known to all that there is definitely more than friendship between him and his rumored girlfriend Ilya Ventur. In fact, check out these latest pictures and you'll be rest assured how Ilya has officially also become a part of Salman's family. Yes, the Paps were in for a major surprise when Salman was seen arriving at the airport along with his mom Salma, sister Alvira and Yula in company. In fact, if you closely see the pictures, well, you will notice how Salman's mom has firmly held onto Yulia's hand proving her fondness for Salman's lady love. Well now, if this isn't enough to make things official, then we don't know what it is. This is the first time Yulia has made a public appearance with Salman and his family. Well, not to forget, earlier last month, Yulia was seen spotted on the sets of Sultan in Punjab along with a set of Salman's mutual friends. Well, this really makes us wonder now if marriage is on the cards for Salman and Yulia. Well, however, what's leaving us confused is the fact how, despite arriving together at the airport, Salman took a separate car while Yulia took a car home with Alvira and his mom. Wonder why? Nevertheless, we are glad that Yulia has been officially accepted by Salman's family and now that the day isn't that far when she might officially be referred to as Mrs. Khan. Well, you know what, Nikki, as they say, well, there is no smoke without fire, so you never know What's burning? What's cooking? And maybe Salman Khan is getting married after all this year. You Finally, never know. Yeah, you never know. And you know what, people? Right now we have a news about the Queen being replaced. Uh, we're talking about none other than Kangana Ranawat. That's right. Kangana Ranawat has been replaced in Divine Lovers, which was supposed to be produced by Sai Kabir, and she has been replaced by none other than Zareen Khan. Khan. Actress Zareen Khan has been roped in for director Sai Kabir's upcoming film Divine Lovers, starring internationally acclaimed Indian actor Irfan Khan. The film was initially offered to Kangana Ranawat. Confirming the news, Kabir said in a statement, Yes, it is true. She fit the bill perfectly as we wanted a girl with Patani looks. Gungana was looking forward to start shoot with Irfan, but somehow the dates never matched and the film could not take off. Zareen, who was last seen on screen in Vishal Pandya's Hate Story 3, will undergo two months of training which will be overseen by Irfan himself. The film is an adventure comedy and shoot starts in September. Divine Lovers revolves around the lower middle class section of society and is set in the heartland of India. Zareen Khan recently was lauded by everyone for spreading positive body image with a message she shared on her Instagram with her old photos. Well, it's pretty sad to know that uh, Kangana is being replaced uh, by Zareen Khan, but then I'm sure the director and the producers, they had their own reasons as to why. And I can't wait to see the chemistry between Zareen Khan and Irfan Khan. I think that's going to be a very interesting chemistry, which we haven't seen. And I can't wait for another Irfan Khan movie. I love him. True. So we're definitely looking forward to this and also to see how Zareen Khan actually fits in this role more than Kangana. Our people right now on Bollywood Buzz, we are talking about one of the cutest girls in Bollywood. She's a fabulous actress. 
none other than Alia Bhatt is who we are talking about. That's right. So now that it is the season of breakup in Bollywood, Alia Bhatt and Siddharth Malhotra might be heading towards a breakup because they're getting closer to their recent co-stars. Like? Well, Alia Bhatt is working on a new movie uh -huh. with her ex-boyfriend Varun Dhawan in a Karan Johar movie, so that is a problem. And also, Siddharth Malhotra's growing closeness with Katrina Kaif in his new movie, that's also another issue. So they exactly. both... Because we just talked about Katrina could be single, right? She so is. you never know, well, this new dude could be the new guy in Katrina's life, and probably that's the reason why there have been something going on between Alia and her boyfriend. As per reports, buzz is that a Kapoor and Sam's duo is not handling the relationship really well. Sad, isn't it? Well, the report further states that the reason behind these problems is the growing closeness of both the actors with their other people in their life. In an attempt to decode their troubles, well, the media house has come up with these three possible reasons. Siddharth and Katrina Kaif's chemistry appeared out to be a head turner at the wrap-up party of their upcoming film Bar Bar Deco. It is also being said that Sid's growing closeness to Kat is bothering the 32-year-old actress. The report also highlights that the couple had a serious argument when Alia got in touch with her ex-boyfriend Ali Dadarkar earlier this year. Alia is once again working with Varun Dhawan, also alleged to be her ex, in a current Johar venture. This decision of Alia has reportedly got Siddharth miffed. Though nothing has been made official by the duo yet, Ishwala loves gone. Well, breakups and hookups and this and that, well, whatever happens in Bollywood, we got it right here for you on Bollywood Buzz. When there's one breakup, Siddharth and Alia breaking up, there's two other makeups. Alia with Varun Dhawan again, Siddharth mm -hmm. with Katrina again. So that's always happening in Bollywood. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, right now let's talk about Sunny Leone. Well, when we talk about Sunny Leone, well, there are a lot of things that we come to our head. But then right now we're talking about Sunny Leone not doing something in a movie. Now guess what she's not doing in a movie? She's not kissing anymore. So recently she has decided that she does not want to kiss on screen anymore. And that has caused a lot of controversy because of her questionable past. And she's putting Imran Hashmi to shame, I guess. The actress hasn't kissed a co-star since Ragini MMS 2. And while her subsequent movies, Ek Paheli Leela, Kuch Kuch Lo Chahe, Masti Zade, and One Night Stand didn't feature a lip lock, her move has flummoxed filmmakers out to exploit her adult star image. And filmmakers are confused about how to convince her to lock lips on screen. Earlier, Sunny had told us that she didn't like the idea of a one-night stand because she'd get attached too soon. She had said, well, each to their own, you see. Honestly, I don't like the idea of having a one-night stand. I'm very emotional and I get attached to people very soon, but I'm not against the practice either. If you think you can manage something like that and your hormones ask you to go for a one-time physical relationship for a night, then why not? But that's not all. She adds, but I would not support if someone cheats on his or her loved one to have a one night stand. If you're single and you are safe, you can have a one night stand if you want to. But if you aren't single, you should think about the emotions someone else has invested in you. So Nikki, are we seriously talking about Sunny Leone right now? Yes, we are. And honestly, I think she has a right to say no to kissing. Of course. However, um, she has a lot of emotions as we see in her recent interviews. And although she has a very shady past, she seems like a very emotional person and she's very invested in her relationship. Uh -huh. And maybe she doesn't want to cause any more issues in her relationship with her uh -huh. husband or boyfriend. And I'm sure they were like the first reason why directors actually wanted Sunny, uh, Sunny Leone in the picture or say in the movie was because she was like ready to give out all the bold scenes, right? Right. Now she's denying to even kiss on screen. Well, that I don't know where she's gonna go from here. Or maybe she's gonna go even higher. You never know. All right, people, right now on Bollywood Buzz, we're still talking about Kangana Ranawat <laughs> and uh, her ex-boyfriend. The Adhyan queen of Sum controversies, mm -hmm. we can say. So the queen has now been allegedly... She's how psycho, apparently. How, how do you put this? Her ex-boyfriend says that she needs uh, psychological treatment. 
and he was apparently hit by her multiple times. Adyanan Suman has come out in a recent interview saying that he was in a very complicated relationship mm -hmm. with her for seven years and finally he's revealing to us all the things she did to him. Exactly and, she, and according to him well he says like she's very obsessed with stuff and she needs a little psychological treatment. Kangana Ranawat genuinely needs help said Adhyan Suman in an exclusive No Holds Barred video interview. Yeah, I was physically hit by her in the relationship multiple times, Adhyan said. And he also said about his DNA interview that I would stick to everything that I said till I die. He said that he totally sympathizes with Ritik Roshan and he believes that more people will come out and reveal more facts about Kangana. Suman Jr. also reacts to Kangana's allegations that there were multiple attempts being made to destroy her. When asked, why are you speaking about this after 7 years, well he said, I don't think I had the courage to speak. A lot of people have proved my point. People out there are calling me names, saying I have done this for publicity. I knew if I would have spoken something about this sort would have happened back then. Also I was weak. I felt in life when you have to move on, emotional closures are very important and I didn't get that. I wanted that now. I didn't time it with the Ritik and Kangana battle. Again, when asked, do you identify with Ritik, he added, of course I did. Her wanting to be with Ritik began when I was with her. I was a big part of it. The truth will always remain the truth. If you are a man or woman, it doesn't matter. I don't know Ritik. I've just met him a couple of times. My interview was not about Ritik. It was about me. It was about my journey, my emotional closure. It is not about failure or success. You know what, Nikki? I always felt Kangana is a little different mm -hmm. uh, in various terms. And now, as described by her ex-boyfriend, well, I don't know what to say. Yes, and her calling Ritik Roshan silly, silly ex, now it just kind of backfired on her own because mm -hmm. all, now all of her exes are sort of pointing the fingers at her and coming out with all these allegations. So I guess we'll just see it and see what she has to say about exactly. all of this. Exactly, and at the same time, there might be multiple other people who might come up with stories about Kangana and them. All right, people, Bollywood Buzz has almost come to an end for this week with all the gossip news and anything and everything that has got to do anything with Bollywood. Well, but no worries. We're going to be back next week. We will. And make sure you go and follow us on all of our social medias. We have Instagram, we have a Twitter, and we have a Facebook. And we also upload all of our videos on YouTube. So make sure you check us out and we'll be back. Until we meet again, I'm Sumit. And I'm Nikki. And keep watching the American Bollywood television. TV.